It's actually great to be here, and uh, this is my first time in Kolkata, oh. and it's a wonderful congress, wonderful speakers, very well organized. But my introduction to Threads was in 2003 with uh, Dr. Waffles Wu when I used the first generation yes. Aptos. Yes. So with Namika, where do you see the future? How do you see the future? First of all, welcome to Georgia. Thank you so welcome much. Welcome to Thank you. Congress. Always pleasure. Uh, thanks for coming, and uh, hope next year you will come more and more. And this year we yes. are trying to be more and more interesting and interactive. Uh, yeah, Aptos and uh, thread lifting has uh, quite a big story. Maybe some uh, doctors or patients uh, they they think that it's something new, mm. but. It's a big, long story, and uh, we started with first generation of non-absorbable non threads, and at that time, the function of the thread was only lifting yes, effect. Yeah. Yeah. But now we understand that uh, lifting is not enough. We can make maximum, we can take maximum of the tension, but what else? It's not enough, because aging is not only causes. So, of course, you know that we need to feel some time, some areas. We need to give biorevitalization effect. So new type of threads, Namika threads, it's not only about uh, lifting effect. It's also about uh, true rejuvenation process. Absolutely. So it's interesting because even if we see the world of plastic surgery and aesthetics, uh, face lifting used to only be lifting and tightening the smack and rejuvenation. So I think uh, also with the launch of uh, Allure, which is again uh, PLLA for biostimulation and a new generation. So that's the direction I think yeah. that we are going at. Yeah, exactly. I'm a plastic surgeon. I do facelifts, surgical way. And uh, I know that in most of the cases, it's not enough for our patients. So we, we know a lot of cases when patients start facelifting surgeries very early yeah. and uh, what they will do later if they will do facelifting 40 years old they should do next in 50 next in 60 so how many facelifts they should absolutely do? absolutely and uh, sometimes uh, when you do maybe a couple of facelifts it's not been 22 years for me so you get great results but when you keep repeating them the chances of complication increase. Of course. Yeah, you get you don't get the most natural look sometimes. Of course, it's the most important thing to stay natural. Absolutely. So yeah, probably we are looking at a world where um, HA crosslink HA may keep going down yeah. and be more of bio modulation, bio stimulation. So I think Aptos leads the way there uh, you with much. your HA, the Thank PLLA, uh, and uh, and even now with the Allure. I hope to see Allure in India too. Of yeah. course, of course. Uh, combine uh, many different materials uh, together with this new technology. And who knows, maybe in future we will have even more interesting material for more biostimulation bio effect. And uh, this combination could really give uh, very nice results for our patients. So, yeah, so maybe I'm sure they're already doing research. Maybe we see exosomes and PDRN with the threads now. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's the future. It's a future. That's the future. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you so much, and it's a pleasure it was being a pleasure. here. And thank you for the lovely hospitality. It's thank a you. pleasure. Good luck to all our Indian colleagues. I wish you success. I wish you best patience, best results, and hope to meet you in India one day again. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.